This is the weekly sales meeting for September 22nd, 2024. My name is Chris Fleming. You can reach me at chris at cdmediaconsulting.com or go to our website at cdmediaconsulting.com. Today's topic, handling uncertainty. Life is an unexpected journey. It is filled with twists and turns. From minor day-to-day decisions to major life-altering events, uncertainty is a constant companion. Learning how to handle uncertainty enhances your ability to cope with life's challenges. Some are ill-equipped to handle alterations in the life plan. Others seem to glide through change as graceful as a duck on a pond. And the rest of us are stuck in the middle. As we try to manage this obstacle course and the new challenges presented daily. Uncertainty refers to situations where the outcome is unknown. It permeates various aspects of life. There can be job uncertainty, like not knowing from week to week if you're going to have gainful employment. There is social uncertainty, such as wondering if you will be included in social events or if your friends are in your corner. As we age, there is health uncertainty. It often involves awaiting the results of medical tests or treatments. For others, there is the uncertainty of moving to a new place. Humans seek predictability. It is a natural survival instinct. When we can't foresee what will happen, it can create feelings of anxiety and stress. Those who lack experience in these areas can find themselves overwhelmed. Learning to manage uncertainty with a degree of effectiveness is essential for our greater well-being. First, it reduces stress. Learning to manage uncertainty helps in reducing stress and anxiety. It improves decision-making. A clear mind, free from excessive worry, leads to better decisions. When we place undue stress upon ourselves, we tend to act rashly and make decisions that may not be in our best interest. Coping with uncertainty builds resilience. It allows us to bounce back from setbacks. It was boxer Mike Tyson who said, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. The shock of something not going our way may be hard to recover from unless we have a plan. If X, then Y should be our motto. We will know what to do if something goes awry. And it gives us flexibility because we have a plan. Flexibility in the face of the unknown is a valuable trait for our ever-changing world. These are some key strategies to help you navigate uncertainty. Start with focus. Place your focus on what you can control. This is a hard one for control freaks, but direct your energy towards aspects of the situation you can influence. For example, if you are nervous about an upcoming meeting, concentrate on preparing for it. Do this rather than worrying about the potential outcome. Be sure you are the most prepared person in the room. Therefore, you can concentrate on staying in the moment during the presentation rather than worrying about whether or not you have everything you need. Keep yourself up to date. This means staying informed. Gather information to reduce uncertainty, yet be mindful of information overload. This can increase your anxiety. Balance staying informed with periods of rest. Take breaks from news and social media. Fact check your information sources. Don't rely on information that satisfies your personal biases. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness involves staying present and being engaged in the current moment. Pay attention to your surroundings. Look for areas you can control before approaching what you cannot. This will give you confidence. It reduces anxiety. Set realistic goals. Break down larger, uncertain situations into smaller, manageable tasks. Set achievable goals and then tackle them one step at a time. This approach makes big challenges seem less daunting. Develop a positive mindset. Focus on the potential positive outcomes of uncertain situations. Think about what can go right instead of what can go wrong. Sometimes uncertainty can lead to unexpected opportunities and experiences. Maintaining optimism can help you cope better. Build yourself a support system. Share your concerns with friends, families, or trusted peers. A strong support network can provide emotional comfort and practical advice. This will make uncertainty more manageable. Accept uncertainty. Recognize that uncertainty is a natural part of life. Accepting that you can't control everything helps in reducing anxiety. It is a way to find peace amidst the unknown. Prepare for different outcomes. Consider various possible outcomes and plan for them. Prepare for them, but don't obsess over them. This way, if a situation does present itself, you are ready to take 
action rather than be paralyzed by indecision, increasing overall stress. If you cannot control it, put your best foot forward and get moving. Use the best information you have available and put yourself in motion. This proactive approach can help you feel less anxious about future uncertainties. Take care of yourself. Engage in activities that promote your well-being. Consider building regular exercise into your day. Be mindful of your diet. Make sure you are eating well and getting enough sleep. Finally, hobbies can boost your mood and resilience against stress. Seek professional help if uncertainty is overwhelming and causing significant distress. Consider speaking to a counselor or therapist. Professional support can provide effective strategies and emotional relief. To see these strategies in action, let's look at some real-life scenarios. Preparing for a big client presentation involves focusing on what you can control. You can create and follow a plan. Start there. Stay informed by reviewing your notes from previous meetings. Create an outline based on the outcome you're aiming for. Build the presentation backwards from the final outcome to the opening line. Give yourself a realistic timeline for execution. Make that task more manageable. Don't wait until the last minute to set it in motion. That action will only increase your stress level, adding to uncertainty. Moving to a new city can be stressful. The first time you do it, it can be a bear. But if you have done it more than once, you start to see familiar patterns. To manage the stress of the situation, practice mindfulness. Stay in the moment and don't let things steamroll you. Stay calm. Think about the worst that can happen and do everything in your power to prevent it. Make lists of things you know you need to do and attack the list with a degree of order. Build a support system. Talk to people who have done it more than once. Ask what they wish they knew the first time or the second time. Learn from others who have done it both with success and with failure. Keep in touch with family and friends to provide emotional support. Prepare for different outcomes. Research your new city and plan activities. A simple act of having a plan can reduce anxiety. Resilience, which is the ability to recover from setbacks, is essential in managing uncertainty. You can build resilience by staying connected with friends and family for support. You can do it by being flexible and open-minded about new situations. You can be mindful of past uncertainties. Use that baseline to help you maintain a positive outlook. Take proactive steps to address uncertainty rather than worrying about it passively. First, Look at what is certain. When entering a new situation, some elements will be familiar. Put those pieces in the known column to isolate the unknown. Then begin to attack the unknown piece by piece instead of all at once. Uncertainty can impact mental health, leading to anxiety, stress, and even depression. Anxiety arises because the brain tries to predict and control the future. This causes worry and fear. Prolonged uncertainty can result in chronic stress, affecting both mental and physical health. Continuous uncertainty may contribute to feelings of hopelessness and depression. Try regular exercise. Physical activity releases endorphins, improving mood and reducing stress. Maintain a healthy lifestyle. Look for balance when things seem out of order. Beware the excesses. Lean in on things you enjoy. Up your social interaction. Be careful not to isolate yourself. It may lead to higher stress levels. Keep up your support system and ask for help if you need it. We have to be okay asking for and accepting help when we need it. This is a hard one for proud human beings. Self-care is a big piece of dealing with uncertainty. We have discussed the physical nature of it, but what about the emotional state? We need to learn or relearn to express ourselves. Journaling, talking to someone you trust, or engaging in creative activities can help. Mental self-care involves challenging negative thoughts and practicing positive thinking. Engage in activities that stimulate your mind, such as reading or puzzles. Social self-care means spending time with your network and building meaningful connections with new people. Social support helps you manage stress and uncertainty. Consider helping someone else. Supporting others in dealing with uncertainty can make a big difference in their lives. Be a good listener and show empathy. Sometimes having someone to talk to can help a lot. Offer encouragement and remind them of their strengths. 
share helpful information, give resources that can help them understand and manage their situation. Be patient as handling uncertainty takes time. Everyone copes with stress and anxiety differently. Don't make the mistake of forcing someone else to act like you. But in helping others cope with their stress, you may find it helps you relieve yours. Being a good listener and a friend is often therapy in itself. You may get more out of it than the person you are helping. Technology can be a valuable tool for managing uncertainty. The internet provides access to a vast amount of information. It can help you stay informed and make better decisions. It can also do the opposite, as we have seen. For all the good found online, there are equal amounts of the negative. Social media and online forums can allow you to connect with others. Some in these groups may be experiencing similar uncertainties. It could be a way to share feelings and emotions about stressful situations. However, not every Everyone has your best interest at heart. The anonymity of the internet allows total strangers to lob barbs at you without reprisal. So beware of misinformation and false narratives that can prey on those in distress. Handling uncertainty is a learned skill. It can help you navigate life's challenges more effectively. Start by focusing on what you can control. Stay informed about where you are and where you are going. Practice mindfulness and stay in the moment. Build yourself a real support system. If someone is not on Team U, encourage them to make someone else's life miserable. Surround yourself only with people who want the best for you, not those cheering for your failure. Remember to take care of yourself, seek help when needed, and support others who are dealing with uncertainty. Be good to yourself. You are the only you that you have. They aren't making another one. Focus on what you get right, not what you get wrong. Dwell on the success, not the mistakes. And make certain you save a bit of you for you. It will help you manage uncertainty and give you confidence moving forward. My new book, 21st Century Sales Success, is now available on Amazon.com. If you like what you have heard here today, please consider ordering a copy or two. You can always send one to a friend. Go to cdmediaconsulting.com right now and follow the instructions to order.